So where do I get my students for my online English teaching business? When I resigned at my last ESL company, the mothers and students, they actually messaged me and told me that they don't want any other teacher. They tried having the new teachers, but they don't like them. So they messaged me and I told them, okay, you can still continue studying with me, but this time you pay directly to me. And we agreed and we are using PayPal for their payments. And then um, for the books, I sometimes make books and sometimes I use the books available online. So there are many books available online. And then um, aside from that, so I started with three students and I had this brilliant idea. I had this family discount. So if they refer someone like a friend or family, I will give them a discount. So instead of $5 per 25 minutes class, I will only... Um, I will only let them pay $4 per 25 minutes class. So from three students, it became 10, 11 students. And now I actually gave them away. <laughs> Some of my students, I gave them away because I was busy in my ghostwriting business. So that's it. So where do you get your clients and students? First, try to get some network, you know, find some... Um, students and friends and if you're an online English teacher right now make sure to have the contacts of your students and make sure that you're really doing your best have a very good relationship with your students and the mothers and then if you actually go they will they will really ask for you they want you so they will message you and that's when you can start your online English teaching business because that's what I did <laughs> so yeah that's all thank you so much I hope you guys um, could learn from me and if you are planning to do online English teaching at home so uh, this is my tip for you have a great day and goodbye thank you so much